a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules. You will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Wild crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the Info War. Infowars.com and scroll down about a third of the way, you'll see a very powerful banner. California Jam, March 27th, 29th, 2015, the Truth Tour. Tickets and live stream. Uh, it looks like it'll probably sell out by tomorrow. They just started selling tickets today. Go to Infowars.com uh, to find the tickets that we've had saved for our listeners. And if you can't be on the West Coast and go to this, then you can sign up uh, for the two-day event to see the scores of uh, people that are going to be there to see the live stream. California Jam, the Truth Tour. Tickets and live stream, Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam. C-A-L-J-A-M, Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam. And uh, you can also, of course, uh, just go directly to Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam. Dr. Billy DeMoss is our guest. Now listen, you're amazing during the breaks. You've been amazing on air, but... Uh, you're really talking about a lot of key stuff here during the breaks. Repeat all the stuff you just said, please, for the audience out there. Well, you want to talk about vaccines or chiropractic? Whatever. Vac finish up with the vaccines, then the chiropractic in your vision. All right. So I, I was on the phone with Sherry Tenpenny Friday. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, doctor, medical doctor. Who's, who spoke at CalJam last year. She was supposed to speak at CalJam this year, but she got a better offer to go to Australia. But then, obviously, she got banned down there because of the censorship down there. You knew that, right? Yes, incredible. Okay. And she was talking to me, I mean, the issue isn't about measles, it's about getting people to have, basically they're pushing for compulsory mandatory vaccines. They're using this as foot in the door. Right, and because they've got 300 different vaccines in the pipeline 
What, and then what they say is they, whatever they deem is necessary for people to get, they're going to push on us. And th so that means there's an endless supply of vaccines. And this is not about just the kids. This is about they're going to be going after the adults, too. So, I mean, one of my big issues has always been to get people to understand the reality with vaccines. And I mean, I'm, you know, it's not that I'm anti-vaccine. I'm just I'd be for any vaccine that number one, that they prove is safe. And then after they prove to me it's safe, I want to see that it's effective. So they haven't done that, and by a third party, not by you know somebody, not the. And that's why they lie and always say safe and effective, safe and right, effective, right, safe right, and effective. Right. It's the same. But then the insert all reads all like all a, over. reads like hell on earth. The insert right. reads like a nightmare. Right. And then with the chiropractic thing, like you, the way you've expressed it to me is most people look at chiropractic as just this band aid kind of care. You only go when you hurt. I try to get people to understand that I'm really trying to elevate your natural expression of nerve potential by maximizing just alignment and postural issues, yeah. also using nutrition to promote longevity of the spine, because if you, the, the spine is everything and your posture is everything about your body's potential to express 100%. Is that called holistic chiropractic? That's holistic, right. Holism is just the body works together. I mean, look at how healthy and handsome Dr. Group is. He looks like he's 15 years younger he than He does. In person, he looks good on camera, but in person, it's just like, man, this guy glows. And I, I want that glow, so I'm trying to get there. Yeah, and I mean, other things that I mean, I try to teach my peeps in my practice is I really want people to live a healthier lifestyle. So we try not to get them to eat any GMO food. We hit GMO foods hard last year at CalJam. Uh, we try to get them to eat mostly organic. Uh, there's some supplements that we recommend. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, you know, get them he drinking healthy water, exercising, putting positive things into their brain and sleeping in a he healthy lifestyle. All that's going to increase your potential for health and give you greater resistance to disease. And the problem with the system that we currently have in place is medicine typically, and it's great in an emergency crisis. Medicine is great in it, but it has really nothing to do with health care. It really basically medicine deals and treats with symptoms and never really addresses the cause of people's problems. Keep rolling with it uh, because that's what I found with chiropractors and alternative health people is they're informed. They know about the studies. They know about the globalists. They know about the GMO. And if we can ever get that group even to a bigger audience, because it's already a huge dominant force in so many levels, they can be the people to lead what you would call leftists who are actually good people into seeing the big picture. And I think that's why the establishment's always attacking alternative health and, and nutraceuticals and chiropractors, because you guys really are the leaders uh, that could lead people, uh, you know, out of Egypt, basically. Right, right. Well, you look at the average chiropractor, they have thousands of chiropractors, I mean, thousands of patients in their practice. What we need to do as a profession is we need to lead those people and create that change. And get aggressive, because the system's coming after us. Fast and hard. I mean, I mean, it's, it's serious. This SB 277 scares me more than anything that's come along. Obama's about to ban the most popular bullet in America without an even executive order. Right. The, the, the FCC just took over the Internet 20 minutes ago. Yeah, they're going to protect it. No, now the FCC is over the Internet. The government wasn't over it before. Right. Huh. The other thing that scares me mm. is this whole geoengineering issue. I'm going to be speaking about that in my speech, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and Dane Wagenkin is going to be at CalJam, who I love. I mean, he's a very eloquent speaker. He's got his stuff down. I mean, literally, I mean, I surf every day at home. That's one of the reasons I, I feel like that's my religion. It's also my spiritual contact. But it's, it's just so disheartening, and it's so frustrating for me to go surfing and you'll go out, and it's a perfectly clear day, and then here come the jets, and it's just like you feel like you're a cockroach. NASA now right. says the Earth is 30% darker because of jet condensation trails, but there's something different about them. And we're not saying every condensation trail is a chemtrail, but it's going on. And then they admit there's all these secret programs going on. Right. Let us see the secret program, just like the secret FCC proposal right. that they're celebrating right now. Right. Oh. I mean, how obvious. It's secret. We're not going to tell you, but it's good. Right, right. Getting back into forced inoculations. I mean, they are really pushing this. What are we going to do when they try to forcibly inject us? That's a really good question. I mean, is it going to come to a point where they're going to come to your house by gunpoint and start forcing people to get vaccinated? I don't know. You they know? do that in India and Africa, but people have, they have uprisings, though. Right, and I think that's what they're really pushing for. I think they're pushing for this is the, the straw that's going to break the back of people in, in, in the United States, it's going to push us into that police state martial law, which I think they want to go towards right now. Well, I know you've been doing CalJam for what, eight, nine years? Eight years. And you're about to move to be doing more of these, right? 
Right, and that's the vision is I want to take it from this 3,000-seat arena and go maybe to a 25,000-seat street arena to up to 15,000 seats. Well, 20, 30, 50,000. You know how to put these on. I can go and get two, 3,000 people to show up anywhere in the country. I don't like having to set it up. Do no, it's, it. a it's super expensive to get the hotels, all of it. But when somebody like you comes along doing this, I would love you start doing more of these to partner with you and others to where six, seven, eight times a year we're in different major cities. Right. Then do one in Europe, do one, right. in, you know, because Take people need this. Right. People need to come together and feel the power of, of, of people coming together in agreement for a healthy, uh, good lifestyle and real environmentalism. And make it fun and bring music into it. So that's one of my other visions is to get bands that are also on the same page that would be willing to work with us to, again, attract more people. Say if we got somebody like Aerosmith or Red Hot Chili Peppers to be at the event, we could really attract Well, more. I know the Aerosmith folks. I, I knew know. that's why I dropped that one in. And, 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 and I know a lot or of Tom other Petty folks. or ACDC, get some band in there that's going to bring people in so we have a festival fun celebration, but then we're hitting the we're hitting all the issues. Super I might be positive. able to get uh, Megadeth or or maybe somebody like you know the uh, folks uh, from. Uh, I love Megadeth, but I don't think it's going to. Yeah, be it might not support. fit in with that crowd. Yeah, Dave's probably listening right now. He, he's awesome. Billy Corgan would fit in probably good. Yes, he would. Aerosmith would do be, be great. Yeah, like, yeah. If I see if I can get them to do that, that's like hurting cats. Right. But. Well, that's what the chiropractic profession can be like sometimes. So that's why, I mean, I was talking to Jeff Hayes the other night. But actually, Aerosmith is right there in Southern California, I guess, San right. Diego. Yeah. Right, right. And it's not like we wouldn't pay them, but they probably wouldn't get what they typically get paid at a, you know. But that's what it's about. Instead of just getting musicians to go do the UN functions that raise money so Bono can pay 2% taxes and run off with it with Clinton. I mean, imagine doing something real just about getting the word out and the attention. If we ever get Hollywood and the music industry, what you're hitting at, to start promoting libertarian, transcendent ideas of not being part of this paradigm, it's over for the establishment. Right. Their entire grid is to keep us in this Madison Avenue, uh, Wall Street, uh, I guess you could call it Times Square system where they immerse us in all their disinfo and basically keep us in the cave. Right. And we've got to resist it. There, I, there's definitely, I, in my opinion, it needs to be a revolution to some degree. Oh, I, but they don't call it a revolution when it's a peaceful idea revolution and it takes over. Right. They only bill revolutions as violent. Right. It can be a peaceful revolution through awareness and education. Guys, did you bring me my oh, how later we burned in the camps? Will somebody bring me the famous quote of Alexander Solzhenitsyn. I want to end this hour on that point because I don't want us later as this tyranny accelerates. We're not going to wait long now. If we don't see a huge blooming of resistance peacefully, the globalists may be able to actually carry this out. Because even if we're awake and everybody submits uh, to it, we'll just be awake in the gulag. Let me read this quote right now. This is, of course, the famous Nobel Prize winner for literature, but it wasn't fiction. Um, his experience, you know, decades in a forced labor camp in Siberia, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who later left the U.S., saying that it was becoming what he'd uh, left in Russia. And he said, and how we burned in the camps later thinking, what would things have been like if every security operative, when he went out at night to make an arrest, had been uncertain whether he would return alive and had to say goodbye to his family? Or if during periods of mass arrest, as for example in Leningrad, when they arrested a quarter of the entire city, people had not simply sat there in their lairs, palling with terror at every bang on the downstairs door and at every step on the staircase, but had understood they had nothing left to lose and had boldly set up in the downstairs hall an ambush of half a dozen people with axes, hammers, pokers, and whatever else was at hand. The organs would very quickly have suffered a shortage of officers and transport, and notwithstanding all of Stalin's thirst, the cursed machine would have ground to a halt if, if, we didn't love freedom enough. And even more, we had no awareness of the real situation. We purely and simply deserved everything that happened afterward. And Stalin killed over 6 million, 7 million Russians just during the period we're talking about here. Starved to death around 10 million Ukrainians. That's why they have a real beef with Russia. But still, it doesn't mean the globalists are going to stir up a fight over there. We should see how they, how they play on these. I don't want to burn in the camps later as they come with forced inoculations and gun confiscation and admit black sites in Chicago. An admitted black site in Chicago that's been going for 10 years where Guantanamo torturers, famous people, are at this facility.
and they're disappearing people in who were dying, and it's not even a big news story in the U.S. It's London Guardian, Der Spiegel, the Europeans are going, oh my God, America is Nazi Germany. Meanwhile, they've got this torture facility